Hetepu. My name is Jabari El Saze, and this is Ancient Wisdom Daily. Today's bit of ancient wisdom come to us once again from the ancient comedic wellspring of moral literature that is sometimes called Sebayit literature, Sebayit literature, which essentially means wisdom literature. And so when we read this body of literature, it actually helps us figure out how to live a sacred, how to live a divine life. And certainly that is what we should all be attempting to do. And so this particular maxim comes to us from one of the world's oldi oldest inscriptions in this field in, in, in the entire world. In fact, if this particular document was complete, it would be the world's oldest complete book, but it is not. Um, an, another one from ancient Kemet is, and we've talked a bit about that one in other lectures. If you'd like to hear more from that, about that, please email us and let us, and we'll get into conversation about it as well. But this particular piece comes to us from the instructions of Kagemni. Kagemni says, when you sit with a glutton, eat when his greed has passed. When you drink with a drunkard, take when his heart is content. Don't fall upon meat by the side of a glutton. Take when he gives you, don't refuse it, then it will soothe. He who is blameless in matters of food, no word can prevail against him. He who is gentle, even timid, the harsh is kinder to him than to his mother. All people are his servants. Now, what are we hearing here? I think it's interesting that Kagemni is, begins by telling us how to deal with people who are gluttons or how to deal with people who are drunkards. And in actuality, if you spend time with gluttons or drunkards, you might end up eating over much or drinking over much. But Kagemni is actually saying in these situations, don't let their excess become something that you end up being involved in. We know that sometimes people are involved in excesses. But then how do you live your life? Is it necessary for you to eat everything, to drink everything, to experience things that are inappropriate? Be sure that even though you see people who are taking so much out of this world that they leave nothing behind for everything else, for everyone else, be sure that that is not something you're doing even if you are in the presence of those people. But chastising them is probably not the best way to deal with it. Simply be calm and deal with them in a, 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 a what we actually hear here from Kagemni is that you should deal with these people, sometimes even in a timid manner. And so in this situation, make sure that you are dealing with them calmly and ensuring that you are not taking that which is not yours. Do you think that you'd like these bits of ancient wisdom in your mailbox every day? Go ahead and subscribe. Visit our website so that you can be part of this incredible discussion on how ancient wisdom can set our modern society back into balance. I'm Jabari Osaze, and this has been Ancient Wisdom Daily. We'll see you tomorrow.